everyone. Today I'm here to show you a Valentine album that I made for my husband. And I just cut it out of chipboard and I used primarily the Sweethearts cartridge and I absolutely love it. It was perfect for this, but there's a lot of cuts on there that you can use for more than just Valentines or weddings and things like that. So it's a great cartridge. My ring's a little bit big here, but I had a small one and it was starting to bend and so I had this one. So I'm going to have to go buy a smaller ring. I did choose to do it instead of the bind it all because I had the scalloped edge. So I thought this would be better. And I just tied some ribbons. And on this I had a key. And I didn't really want to tie like the end of the ribbon. I didn't want to put it on there and then tie a knot. So what I did was I took a longer piece of ribbon. I folded it in half. So this is the half down here folded and I threaded the key on it and then I tied the knot around the ring and that way it hangs a lot nicer. So that's just preference. Okay so the background cut in white is the shadow cut cut at six inches and I cut them all with white. I cut them all out of chipboard and then I cut them all with white and then the scalloped heart I cut at five and three quarter inches and then I have this heart that I cut out and it was one of the first hearts in the booklet I believe and then this couple I just did the silhouette and it's cut at three inches and then the title here the perfect pair was cut at two inches and I embossed it or I stamped it with Versamark and then just put clear embossing powder on it and heated it up so it's just kind of shiny which it, it probably won't show up but and then the flowers that are on the front are just some flowers that I bought and I used stickles on them to glitter up and then the heart inside of here is a brad and I'll tell you the cheapest way to do flowers where you want lots of the big big flowers they can get quite expensive if you're buying them in the scrapbook aisle but right here you'll see there's about four different sizes and there's quite a few and what I did was I bought a bush of these flowers and they were together like this with a big gaudy yellow center you know on the stems and I paid a dollar they were on sale and I'm I don't know there's there's tons of them but you pull them all apart you just take that center out and then you have all different sizes of flowers and you can ink them you can chalk them you can spray the glitter mist but then you have lots of nice large flowers and I probably have oh 40 50 flowers and I paid a dollar for all of them so if you like flowers that is a very cheap way to to do those Okay, and then on the inside, like I said, I, I picked out coordinating papers and I did the pages across from each other to match. So these are the two pages. And on here, again, this is a cut from the Sweetheart's cartridge. This is Hugs and Kisses, and it's cut at about two inches. And this mat I cut with the Martha Stewart Loopy Corner Punch, and I just did the corners and then put some little flowers and this page here has love which is from sweethearts and the heart lock and key and I did those with clear embossing so that they're shiny and then on the photo mat this one is a corner punch that cuts this heart out and your photo slides up underneath it and I used cotton candy stickles on the hearts I really blinged this one up. Normally I don't do this when I do something for my husband, but I wanted a lot of bling. Okay, on this page I just have Sweetheart cut about, it was three quarter inches I believe, and I used a silver embossing powder on it. And then this was just some printed ribbon that I had and I used two little pink heart brads to adhere it down. And one of the things that I did too was I did not adhere this patterned paper to the heart. I kept all of those separate until I was completely done. I decorated the pages, put all the brads in, did, did everything that I was going to do to the page. Even the glitter of the stickles and stuff and then glued it to the backgrounds. 
That way I didn't have to worry about brads and eyelets and things. Okay, on this page, we have the love cut again. This big kind of mirror looking heart is just something out of my stash. And then the glitter heart was cut from Sweethearts. And I just put a pink glitter on it. And this silver frame is another thing that was out of my stash. And I had a stamp that said, with all my heart. And I just put the with all my, and then I hung a little heart charm. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. The little heart charm is hanging off some floss thread, which I don't even know if you can buy that anymore. It's out of my stash. Put it down with some brads. Okay, and the next two pages, we have more cuts from the sweethearts, some little flowers, and the brads, and just a ribbon. And I didn't tie it down or anything. I just glued it and I left it hanging off the edges. And then this is a chipboard heart that was already pink and I just inked around the edges and put a button. And this is actually where the heart was punched from. So I used the negative image. Glittered up a flower with a button. Another one of the big flowers. And this is a old book plate that I've had in my stash, one of the Making Memories and another stamp that said I love you and then I used red stickles and put over the heart adhered it with some brads so I really just went through my stash and just used a lot of stuff on this page another flower that's got stickles heart button the kiss me is from the sweethearts and again with the clear and well no actually this is red embossing on top of it and it was red cardstock so it's real or real shiny these are from the Sweethearts with the silver embossing. And then on this side, I have some old eyelets that were X's and O's. More cuts. And then on the very back, I have some chipboard letters that were in my stash. And they were starting, the red was starting to come off. So I used crystal glaze on the top of them so that it would give it a raised crystal effect. And then this was a chipboard piece that I had, and I just used my red stamping up ink and just rubbed the top of it, and then used white stamping up ink and stamped Valentine. And then once it all, well, let's see, after I stamped the white, I put clear embossing on top of it and, and heat set it, and then I just put Versamark over the whole thing. If you haven't ever tried that, you want to try it. It just kind of gives it a little shimmery. Put ribbons through the ends with some brads. A couple of things that I want to tell you if you're making little albums like this, some things to keep in mind are don't use original photos if there are any that you care about or you know you don't have extra copies of. These all I printed off and made new photos because I didn't want to ruin my old ones. You know, this is not protected anyway. My husband's already about ward out looking at it. So don't use your original photos. Make copies of them or have extra copies to do them with. Another thing that I didn't think about because I was in such a hurry was keeping a spot open on every page to punch it. And you definitely want to do that if you're going to do the bind it all or anything. You're going to want to punch it before you put your big embellishments on there. Because otherwise when you go through here, you know, you may have a clear spot here, but when you get to the back side, you might have embellishments there and you won't be able to punch the hole. So you want to kind of do it before you get your big heavy embellishments on there. So that's my album. I hope you enjoy it.